I got paid my last paycheck of August. I'm going to use it to fund the categories in September or some of the categories in September until I get my next paycheck. But right now I want to go over, I reconciled all my accounts, I cleared out all my transactions, and I do have some overspending. Because you see, strawberries are in season and they have organic strawberries at Costco for $9 a pack. And this month I've probably gone in there and bought three packs every single time. So definitely overspent on groceries. And sometimes I'll put it in the family support category because sometimes I'll take a whole pack to my mom as an offering. But yeah, we'll see. So I wanted to cover my grocery spending. The thing is, is like, what, what do I grab from, you know? So let's first cover pension and 457B. That comes from my my payroll deductions. So reset available amounts. And my paycheck this time around was 2186. Okay, so LA Olympics, the first category of respect. This is more like, right now, I'm putting, putting it like a ticket entertainment category. I have not had that since the pre-pandemic. I have not had a category like that since pre-pandemic days. And it's time to live again, I guess. So, honestly, I think all the overspending... Oh! Eating out? Eating out? I have a good amount on eating out. Wow! Hmm, let's keep going. What else did I ever spend? Family support. I think I'll cover... I'll cover family support with... No, groceries with eating out. Eating out. $237 That's quite a bit of money. I'm so excited. This I'll cover with yearly subscriptions. Health and family support. How much do I have left over? $136. I think for entertainment, the $190. So I bought two tickets for the Hollywood Bowl. There's like a, a wonderful show there that's going to come up. And in all honesty, we'll see. Because I've gone to the Hollywood Bowl and I sat like in the back rows all the way in the back. And it's been pretty cool. You, the, you could definitely enjoy the show from there. This time around, I bought the tickets and I decided to buy like closer to the stage. So I'm going to look and see. I'm going to look and see if it's worth it. Last time we went, the guy that sang This Is America was there in the, in the audience and it was pretty cool to see him. So I'm going to cover this with travel. I know, I know. I'm doing a lot of overspending. Usually this happens towards the end of the year, the year. There's a bunch of birthdays, like six birthdays, my goodness. And Christmas, holidays, all of that good stuff. I, um, I ordered some food also because there's going to be a birthday party tomorrow. And I'm going to be... I'm going to be taking some veggie burgers from a veggie restaurant in Los Angeles and that was pretty expensive. I also went to Costco and I bought the Beyond Burgers and extra buns just in case for like dinner if I stay or I might stay until Monday with my parents. And is that all? Oh no, health 67.79. So I did buy the, what is it? Um, the Super Goop sunscreen. And that's covered by the FSA, but I haven't submitted the receipt yet, and I haven't gotten the reimbursement, which I should really do because I'm overspent. Um, yeah, so I got this little tiny thing from Super Goop, and it was like $60. It came with a free little 
sunscreen like to go sunscreen and also you know like those little patches where you open it and you could like like a wipey it came a free one came with that I didn't even know those existed where I guess you could wipe your face and apply sunscreen that way with a wipey it was it's very travel friendly I would say and I would definitely probably buy another one of those and for my face I really like Mineral sunscreen because mineral sunscreen, even though sometimes it has a white cast, it doesn't burn my eyes throughout the day. And throughout the day, um, I'm, you know, traveling in my car, visiting people's homes. So I like not having red eyes. Who will I cover it? And then oh, family support. Um, I'm gonna cover family support with eating out. And then health. For now, I'll cover with <laughs> I'll cover with shopping and skincare. Maybe I'll just cover it with travel again. No shopping, shopping. That's some of it, and then skincare. That's some of it, and then three dollars eating out. Which to me says that I should definitely submit my receipt for that order for sunscreen. Let's move on to the actual budgeting. So we're going to move on to September. $2,186. I'm going to do half of my rent divided by two. Utilities, I'll do uh, 60, half of utilities. And phone, I'll do the 114 groceries I've been spending so much on groceries so I will do 200 there renters insurance to 1058 household what did I need to get for household oh yeah I wanted to get some big new baking sheets and yeah I'll do that later uh, health I'll do the $50 subscription I'll do 25 which is half <sighs> transportations always transportation always gets me it's at least five hundred dollars so average spent i'll do 250 average spent 559.13 what's 559.13 divided by two that where it is uh gifts and giving i'm zero dollars in gifts but i bought everybody gifts already so nothing should be coming up in september other than that uh oh no I do have one more, so I'll do the $30 out of everything. Wedding, $50. Clothing, I need to get some things with clothing. So $50 in clothing. Eating out another $50 because I'm still going to that show so let's make sure that's covered and I have 579.38 left that's a pretty good amount uh that could cover my Roth IRA but let's not do that $25 here for my brokerage half of I'll do half of the 567.89 for the Roth, and I'm left over at 270.44. So I'm gonna put that. Something always comes up for family, so the rest is gonna go to family. And I think that's it. I'm not too shabby. I'm looking forward to the show, and I hope you guys enjoyed this budgeting video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Quick side note, I also wanted to go over what I spent for the month of August, which is $6,851. When we go to the categories group, my biggest expense, like one single expense, was rent. But out of all these categories, the rest are pretty much retirement vehicles. And first is rent, then retirement vehicles, federal income tax afterwards. And when I look at this chart, I do track pre-tax deductions as well so federal tax 
plus state tax, 3% overall, 10% of my income. I don't think it's that bad when a lot of people are saying, you know, that California has high taxes. I'm sure it does, and the property is very expensive. But at certain income levels, it's not as terrible as people make it out to be in other states that I don't want to name, okay? Don't come don't come at us. One out of eight people live in California. One out of eight United Staters Americans live in California. So the next category is family support, of course. Groceries is my food. <laughs> LA Olympics, this was the ticket for the Hollywood Bowl, is for two tickets, closer range. And when I switch it to the groups category, I kind of like this overview a little bit better because I do keep it, I do categorize my spending more in terms of the groups. So to live, it's 33% just to exist. Well, in a very nice way because I buy a lot of organic strawberries. And then payroll deductions overall, it's 13%. Giving is 10%. A lot of that is family support. And it's, it's a lot of things. It could be uh, food that I just want to buy on a whim that's organic that I find at Costco and then I'm going to go visit them. Also, it's a lot of birthdays and things like that. Gifts and giving, like I mentioned, there's like six birthdays in August and coming up in September. I bought some for the birthdays that were going to happen in September. And then after that, it looks like my biggest category is to retire at 45, wouldn't you? No. But however, I am. There's just so many additional expenses lately. I do want to save up to go to Japan in a few months, and then after that, a summer trip as well uh, to take my nephew and my mom uh, to a few places. And then after that, I might be saving up for Hawaii. So retiring at 45, while it's all good and all, I might have to reduce my expenses for the next year or so. I mean, reduce my investments for the next year or so while I prioritize spending money on experiences that I can enjoy in the near future instead of way, way down the line. So we'll see. But so far, retire 45 is looking pretty good. And well, we're good. <laughs>